Hello everyone, I'm Jaden and I'm here with another video. new here thank you for clicking i saw a local youtuber do it and i thought it would be something really cool if you don't know i'm getting married on december 4th of this year to my fiance noah and i want to plan my wedding with you guys i've shown a i am doing a wedding series and i've done about five or six episodes so far so if you want to pause here and go watch the rest and continue the rest of the video i won't be mad i have a couple notes right here that i want to make sure that i discuss i found this out the other day that the average u.s wedding is 33k i want to let you guys know our wedding budget is 26k we need to be at that or lower hopefully lower obviously because we want to save some money and no we are not paying for the whole thing ourselves we have a lot of family members who are willing to help and chip in but we will be chipping in a good amount so show you a few little tools that i've been using to help me wedding plan first the knot.com is what i've been using since we got engaged it's basically like a wedding site they have others like wedding wire and that's the only ones i know is wedding wire and the not.com i was about to give a list but i don't even know obviously you don't have to use those sites i did because i kind of wanted some guidance never been married before i don't really know what i was doing my mom obviously was going to help me we weren't hiring a wedding planner we decided we were going to do it ourselves to save some money so this is what we got i got books for days i got folders of all kinds of information notepads and my goal is to make this the wedding of my dreams obviously that is everyone's goal but i feel like for me i am not going to take no for an answer i'm going to figure out a way to make it happen so I'm going to give you guys an idea of my wedding vision. I'm going to screen record my Pinterest board so you guys can see it. So because our wedding is in December, I really wanted something wintry. It doesn't really get hot in Florida, so as wintry as we can get. I wanted like royal winter wedding. Bridgerton was a main inspiration. The show Rain on Netflix also was an inspiration. I've always liked to call myself a queen or a princess, and I even have a crown tattoo behind my ear. It was just inevitable that I was going to have a royal wedding. Okay, I would love to actually be a queen one day. It's not going to happen, but I'm going to be a queen on this day. That's all that matters. Here is the big day vision board. As you can see, the invitations are super simple, but elegant, and... I'll talk about our colors too as we get through. I love that sparkly veil. And the key, the key to my heart, it just gives me princess vibes also. So as you can see, we're kind of getting into the colors. So our color scheme is dusty blue, white, cream, silver, and a little bit of green. And maybe like a navy blue kind of color. I really loved this picture right here because it gave me that like cold wintry feel. It won't snow. It probably won't even be cold when we get married, but it doesn't matter. I thought the color was beautiful. I was going to do just like greens and neutrals, but I really wanted to add something like a little pop of color in it. Over time, my, my style and my aesthetic has gotten a lot more simple when i was young i thought i was gonna have like pink and bright and obnoxious and that's not the case but for those of you who do it go if there was an alternate universe that i was in control of i would definitely have like an obnoxious color filled wedding my dream was to always have my wedding at the disney castle which that cannot happen because that cost twenty six thousand dollars probably alone just for the venue and ain't nobody got money for that especially with covid so our makeshift is the Crystal Ballroom. We booked our venue a couple weeks ago and it is gorgeous. The floors are marble, the decorations are gorgeous, like everything comes included. And I'll let you know our venue is 11500 So you pay a $1,000 deposit, which we did, and we make payments as we go. But the venue was one of the first ones that I saw whenever we had gotten engaged and it was like, my mom kept telling me to look other places and I was like, mom, I can't. like. But I ended up looking at other places and nothing else was giving me what I wanted. I didn't want to get married in a hotel. I didn't want to get married in a barn. I'm just not a barn girl. Okay, I was born and raised in the South, but that's not me. So uh, knowing the vision and knowing what I wanted, there was nothing wrong with that. And this place was literally everything that I ever wanted. And we ended up booking it and I was so 
excited. A couple other things that we have booked so far is the photographer. I know who's going to bake our cake, which actually isn't a cake. It is little cake. What are they even called? They're like cake squares. You know, cake pops, but they're in the form of a square. And they're so cute. I personally am not the biggest cake fan. So Noah and I are going to have like a little five inch cake on top for us to cut just for picture purposes. And then... We're going to have those little cake squares because realistically no one eats the cake at your wedding and it gets thrown away. Cake bites, everyone can eat a cake bite. And I just feel like it's going to save us so much money. So I'm actually really excited for that. Noah's sister-in-law is going to be making us that cake. She is a baker and she's giving us a pretty good deal. So thank you, Natalie, for doing that for us. We're still working on catering, um, but I did get my dress if you have not watched the trying on dresses video i'll put a little card up here for you guys to do so and i got my dream dress it was nothing that i ever imagined but as soon as i tried it on i knew let me see my mom created a budget sheet for us <laughs> i have everything in here i have the guests that we want i even have mock-ups of our wedding invitation i don't want to get too sidetracked but this is what I created. I created it on canva.com and I'm just kind of messing around, but I'll get more into that in a minute. All right, reception. We have allocated budget for 17,000. That's like food, venue, etc. is our wedding budget right here. All of this is how much like people are giving us and 12,000 is what we have to make up from the rest. So it is a lot of money, but it's gonna be so freaking worth it. Noah pays monthly for my ring. I'll show you guys. She is glowing. She is absolutely glowing. And I believe that was like 3100 Let me tell you guys about these wedding invitations real quick. You see this? You see all of this? I got four cases of these for 40 bucks, and they were originally $40 a piece. I saved so much money. They were on sale at Michael's, and they're so perfect. And then I freaking found these, and I was like... I screamed in Michael's when I saw them. Royal, it's like a little crest, and we're saving a lot of money by me creating them and then us getting that kit for $10. Our venue, it can hold about 140 people, I wanna say, give or take, but anyone over 100 is an extra 30 bucks and they do not have food included. So we are working on getting a catering service. We don't wanna go over 100 people. So we have like 111 on our list right now and the goal is to have about 11 or 12 or 13, 14, 15 people so that they can't come. I did not think we had that many people that we knew. No one really thinks they'd have that many people that they know until they invite people to their wedding and they're like, damn. Like I said, I got four cases of these and I'm going to just be able to print it. I'm going to get like a little wax seal. I'm going to show you guys the company I'm going to get the wax seals from. We did that for our engagement party. There they are. Look at how pretty. Oh, they even have our dusty blue color and they have the sticks so you can use a hot glue gun and you don't have to melt it and like pour it oh my god i need to order it like look how freaking cute they even have little stamps we have a stamp that we got for when we had our engagement party and it was a d oh my god look at this so satisfying i might want to add like a little flower or like a something wintry on our stamp because there are a couple more things that we definitely have to figure out. I know that my flowers are going to be real, but my bridesmaids are not. I want to save as much money as possible. And I know some people hate the idea of fake flowers. They look so ugly. Personally, it doesn't bother me um, as long as they look real. I'm honestly trying to figure out an alternative for my bridesmaids. What if they just do one rose? Like, they're going to get thrown away. I... I've been in a couple weddings with bouquets, and I just, I've never kept them. I don't know if that's just me, but it's just never something that I've done. And I just don't want people throwing my shit away. I have nine bridesmaids. He has nine groomsmen. One of my bridesmaids is my friend Micah, so it's a guy. It's a guy, so he's not like a bridesmaid. He's a, a bros maid or something. I don't know. But we have a lot, so I had all my girls pick out their dresses already from azazi.com. Azazi, Azazi. Also, we are planning on doing our bachelorette and bachelor party together. We just aren't huge party people, and if we do party, we would rather just be together. I would not want strippers at my bachelorette party, and I would not want him to have strippers. Maybe we could go to the strip club together eventually, like, later on in life, but it's just not something that we want. 
Also, I have to show you guys. Oh my god, I don't know. Like, I don't want to spoil stuff, but I want to tell you. This is my dream wedding send-off because of the movie. I want to say Rapunzel. Oh my god. Imagine how beautiful and with my dress. I know what it looks like now. I can't and we got to prove to do it because we're gonna get biodegradable ones and it's going to be Gorgeous, so if we weren't gonna do that, I have no idea what we were going to do But I'm just so freaking happy and let me show you guys what I want my accessories to be so I mentioned that rain has a really big influence on my wedding just royal You know all the royal vibes this headpiece that Mary Queen of Scots wore at her wedding to some guy she did not want to be with by the way I want it it was handmade I had to do so much research it was handmade by the costume company the costume team of that show and I want it like I keep seeing a whole bunch that just like go around the back and they're for the veil but none of them go far enough to where they kind of touch my temple and that's what I want so I might have to get it made if you guys know someone who does them I'm gonna show you guys some of the the wedding books <laughs> that we have so first I have this little engagement journal that was actually a gift it's from yes to I do and it's just like writing cute little stories I think I did it actually on a couple pages let's see the story of how you met I wrote thanks tinder <laughs> for real um, what was your first date like? The first word was awkward. And it's just been fun to like fill this out as we go. Jaylee got me this. So thank you, Jaylee, because I have been using it. This is a little bridal book that we got from our venue. They have been so, so helpful. And I've been using that for ideas. This is the Knot book. It is the website that I've been using, but in book form. I haven't really filled too much out, just a couple of things with ideas. I like to have physical evidence of things, but I like to also have a lot of stuff like on my computer. For me, I really just wanted to have the books as memories and stuff to like be able to look back 10 years from now, like, wow, we were planning our wedding, this is what we were writing, this is what happened, this is what changed, and I think it would be super cute to look back on. And this was the original wedding planner that my mom got me. I don't know if I've written anything in here. I did like a bridal quiz. The tabs are first steps, budgeting, calendar, vendor, ceremony, reception, happily ever after. And it gives you like a slot to like put stuff in, which is cool. I really liked that. So it's just a matter of us getting our caterer, us getting a DJ, doing the invitations, um, figuring out what I want to give um, my bridesmaids. Let's go on Pinterest real quick. I really like robe idea. I just, I want to try and be as different as possible. Bridesmaid gifts. I saw like a bag. I definitely like the hanger idea for picture purposes also. I saw the bag and I thought that was really cute. Oh, those tumblers are cute. I just want them to be able to have stuff that they're going to use forever. I don't want it to be thrown away. Oh, the ropes are so cute. Shirts are cute too, but they're not going to wear them every single day. The way I asked my bridesmaids, I did that in one of my previous wedding series episodes. So my camera overheated, but as I was sitting here, I was scrolling. And I think for my bridesmaid gifts, I'm gonna do Christmas ornaments because Christmas will be happening that month and it'll be something they can have forever. They're all old enough that they have their own Christmas tree. So I wanna know what it'll be in this video so it's not like I'm freaking in control of everything, which he helps whenever an opinion is needed. I ask him about everything and if he likes it, then we go with it. If not, we talk about it and we figure something else out or he just goes with it but plan your wedding exactly how you want it every little girl dreams of their wedding so i hope i can inspire you i hope i gave you some ideas pinterest has been my literal best friend <laughs> for real so thank you guys for watching be sure to let me know what kind of video you'd like to see next i love you and stay fabulous <laughs>